What happened between H3 and Hassan? Um, I believe... Okay, so I actually know the rough details, okay? Um, I'm relatively informed. The thing is, is that I actually genuinely don't just... I don't watch H3 um, or Hassan. Um, but I do see a lot of updates on Twitter. A lot of people that, like, in the commentary community just really are into this, like, focus on this shit. Um, specifically, I think I've seen Destiny talking about this. And I've been kind of learning about Destiny a little bit lately. And basically, from what I can tell, um, H3H3 H3 has uh, aggressively tried to get Hassan to condemn Hassan. And I think that Hassan has pretty much, you know, effectively, like, of course, he's said, like, you know, I don't condone these behaviors or whatever of, like, literally killing civilians, Israeli civilians. But, like, H3, it seems like, doesn't find that a satisfying answer he feels like hassan saying of course it's fucked up that they killed civilians but and then you know kind of justifying it the thing is though is that like and sorry the big thing is like h3 has been very personally negatively apparently impacted he's like you know taught he went on a decent rant i think talking about how this situation has personally affected him as a jewish guy who has been and lived in israel obviously his family and through Hila, of course, family in Israel. Um, I totally get how this could be like a very personal situation or whatever. People near universally calling me a zinous pig, fucking mass murdering jet freak. And if you want to know the truth, that shit me up seeing that discord. Because it made me realize that a lot of these people are watching this show and it frankly disturbed me. Um, and of course, H3 acknowledges that the Things that the Israeli government are doing are horrendous, horrendous. But yes, it just seems like uh, Ethan was just not satisfied, basically, with Hassan's audience specifically. Um, he's complaining that I think that like Hassan's leftist fan base are shitting on him for you know uh, being too um, biased toward Israel. My thing is like. At the end of the day, do I really give a fuck what H3 thinks about that situation? I don't. I don't. He's really only a geopolitics guy when it's, like, relevant. You know what I mean? And, like, when he um, is talking to Hassan about it, right? I, I, we watched on stream um, Ethan and Hassan talking about Taiwan, I believe, and it was pretty clear that neither of them actually really knew much of anything about the landscape there, you know? Um, they did to an extent, they did to an extent, but, um, you know, as like casual observers, but that's kind of what I mean, where it's like people who fixate too much on what H3 and Hassan think of, uh, Israel, Palestine, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can do that as like, oh, you care, um, what these people are saying, you know, and like you're criticizing them specifically, but like, if you are actually interested in learning about those, like the situation in Palestine, in my opinion, those are not, like, the guys you should be going to, right? It's good. Again, they're talking about it. They're raising awareness, respect, whatever. But um, they know themselves, too. Like, they're not really experts. Maybe Hassan claims to be. I don't fucking know. I don't really care. Um, but, yeah, for me, it's like, I don't know how much Ethan has seen of what the Israeli government is doing in Gaza. Condemning, like, Hamas is not enough to, like, change anything. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense, what I'm saying? Like... Like, fixating on how people need to be condemning Hamas. It's like, okay, what exactly uh, will that do? Like, you just want me to pass, like, the morality check? It's a little bit, in my mind, weird. And I just do, I do want to clarify, like, in Hong Kong, when I was there, man, there were actions taken by Hong Kong protesters that were very, um, you know, aggressive, let's just say, right? There was, um, obviously, cops being you know, hit or whatever. Of course, it was like a self-defense, or sorry, it was a um, uh, a reaction, right? It was like a, uh, basically like the Hong Kong protesters were reacting to the police brut brutality. And again, these are very different situations, but the, the shit that Israel is doing is brutality. It's brutality. And it's not, there is a history there. And I think that ignoring the history, which again, we've, you know, have a Clips Channel video about it, Ignoring the history in favor of just, like, fixating on these personalities. Like, oh, did you know Hassan said this but didn't say that? And then Ethan said this. And th it's like, okay, now 
if we're being honest with ourselves, now you don't really care about the actual situation, seemingly. Um, you're just criticizing these people. You know what I mean? Like you're enjoying criticizing these people. It's not really about the situation. Fair enough. You can criticize these people and hold them accountable. You should. It's good. It's good. Just don't frame it as though it's like, that's so fucked up. I can't believe it. And, and the reason I'm saying this is because it's like your words do have influence. I believe this. I think it's total cope when people claim that like, you know, you are, you don't have any accountability for your audience, what they think, whatever. I think that's a big commentary community cope, by the way. I think it's a self-report, actually. Um, when people say this, I think I have a lot of peers who say this. And every time I hear it, I'm like, bro, you're giving up the one thing, the one thing you have, your fucking influence. Um, the thing is, though, is that in specific relation to the Gaza and Palestine situation, what you need to understand is that extract, pull yourself up from the fucking drama sphere, like focusing on personalities and what personalities are saying. So it, pull yourself up from what Twitter is saying. Because believe it or not, Twitter actually is a very, very shallow reflection. It is not an accurate reflection of what the majority of people think, okay? Um, it can, you know, kind of give an indication, but it, we all know through cancellation with things like this, there's times where Twitter is like cap, you know what I mean? Um... When you extract and you pull yourself up and you look at it from a bird's eye view, you realize, oh, oh, okay. So, like, con condemning Hamas, what exactly is that going to do for this situation? Absolutely nothing. Again, you can you can condemn Hamas, and you probably sh should, I guess. It's bad to kill people. Um, but... You can literally influence absolutely nothing, right? The air avenue, the only slight small avenue you have for influence. Because keep in mind, Israel's on, on the ground in Gaza, bro. They're on the ground in Gaza. They are aggressing now. This is an act of vengeance that is occurring. And literally every fucking government in the Western world, pretty much, pretty much, are turning a blind eye. They're giving the lip service. They're saying, yeah, yeah, defend yourself, Israel, do it, whatever. Then, of course, there's again this PMC bullshit where you, you know, mask everything in like, oh, rainbows and sunshine, like, of course, it's bad. Like, you know, dead Palestinians, people dying is awful. Right now, it is literally a situation where Israel is attacking Gaza, actively choosing to step on a fucking brutally, brutally fucking, literally victimized zone, okay? If we're talking about civilians, again, Hamas is is technically, you know, a separate uh, thing. The thing that people I've hear, heard them say is like, oh, well, what the fuck, dude? Uh, Hamas was elected by the Palestinian people. Um, they are, like, their acting government. And that is true. But again, this is where it's like, you need to look at the history, bro. You really do. Because Israel has never actually sincerely tried to coexist with Palestine. And again, there are faux attempts and maybe maybe some sincere attempts. But a lot of those attempts have been heavily undermined by Israeli officials. Okay? Again, Israel is not like one person. Many people. And the dominant faction, fuck Palestine, okay? Um, again, you can say this works both ways. What I am saying is that if you are going to pretend like you are approaching this from a humanitarian angle, which is what I see a lot of these people demanding denunciations, whatever. If you're going to take a humanitarian angle, the side that you should be aspiring to actually influence to stop would be israel sorry that's just the, like the cold hard reality and so yeah whatever like h3 h3 and hassan i again okay like fair enough if h3 doesn't want to cover it or if he's like questioning his involvement in leftovers yeah fair enough bro um he can literally do whatever the fuck he wants um i don't care i really don't care like uh for real 
Um, and again, to people who do care, I understand why you would care. So it's, it's you're right completely, especially if you're f fans and you're watching them. Yeah, of course you want to like, you know, criticize people that you like, make them better when you think they're fucking up or whatever. I just, for me, it's like these personalities, like I, I personally don't have a stake, you know what I mean? Um, because the much grander issue, right? To me is just just so many leagues so many fucking leagues just more uh more serious i guess than like me really caring about like interpersonal drama uh with these youtubers you can go to gokamerch.com and pick up the memento marie shirt i think it looks pretty good i'm wearing a large we've got a bunch of fun stuff there and the prices are in my opinion the most reasonable you'll find on youtube <laughs>